In this course, we're going to also talk about passing judgment, how we judge others, and how we often uh, compare ourselves to others. Michelangelo was often quoted as saying that inside every block of stone or marble lied a beautiful statue. He said you only needed to remove the excess material to reveal the work of art within. What if we all thought of our employees or children or loved ones in this way? So it would be pointless to compare them to others. Instead, the idea is to focus in on helping each person to master their own skills and their own self-expression. It's the difference between stacking someone up against your standards or respecting their ability or potential to realize their own worth. You might have heard the story of this older man. He's walking along the beach and he sees this woman in the distance and she looks like she's dancing. She's kind of running and flailing her arms about. And as he gets closer, he can see that she's throwing starfish back into the ocean. And they're just everywhere. And he laughs at her and he says, you, You're not going to eat starfish in hand. She threw it back. And she said it made a difference to that one. We're driven to accomplish, to earn money, to spend time because it's what our society dictates. But in this course, we're going to talk about contribution. And with the passing of September 11th, it's something that has really um, been the forefront in the news. Something that is quite specific to American culture is, is the sense of achievement, of earning money. Um, is when someone asks you, what did you do today? They're asking, what did you achieve? Rarely does someone ask, what did you contribute today? The idea of contribution doesn't have to have any other side. It's the idea that you gave. It doesn't have to be measured by success or failure. Contribution has a, rip a rippled effect that you will never be able to measure what you've done over the long haul. Just think about this. When you give blood, do you ask, well... This was successful if I saved a specific, specific person this week. And I want to check in to see exactly where this blood was used. I want to make sure that it, it was used effectively. No. When you give blood, you go, you give it, and it's enough. You let it go um, to contribute, to give what you have to give, and it's not judged by success or failure or what you achieved. One of the final issues we'll discuss is diversity. And I'll pose the question, is the United States really a melting pot or more like a stew where all the differences make it rich? We'll talk about how diversity fits into the workplace and how businesses have figured out that when you have a group of people working together and they look alike and they act alike, they're the same age, they're the same race, they usually think alike. And when people think alike, there usually aren't very many innovative ideas floating around. What businesses have learned is that diversity leads to innovation, and innovation leads to wealth. And the United States is the perfect example of this. There's more diversity in the U.S. than anywhere else, and the U.S. is also the most prosperous nation. Well, I've given you an overview of what this course will cover. As we discuss these and several other topics more in depth, I look forward to hearing and reading your questions, thoughts, and opinions. I'll meet you on the discussion board.